Hi, this is Ingrid London from TechCrunch. I'm here with June from Razer, who's going to show us how the Stargazer webcam works. So first, it's got an ultra-high frame rate capture, which means it does 60 frames per second, and that's the highest capable for a webcam at this time of time. In addition to that, the Razer Stargazer has dynamic background removal, which you can see here. Um, and this is a really cool effect that a lot of professional streamers use um, yeah. in, their, in their streams. It uses an infrared light uh -huh. that projects onto the person or the object and it bounces back to the camera which is then captured by an IR camera. Right. And then the conventional camera is just there to capture the video quality uh -huh. at up to 1080p. Um, in fact, if you'd like to walk into the frame, you I can would. see. I would, yeah. yeah. Go for okay, it. here I go. So I'm going to switch patience okay. with you. So there you go. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I mean, it's pretty detailed. If you sort of do that with your hand, it even goes and sort of covers up the fingers and everything, and it's sort of irrelevant what's going on behind you. All right, cool. So the next cool thing I'm going to show you, okay. I'm going to switch, switch over again. again, Yeah. add a little movement to the video. Uh -huh. um, okay, this next cool thing I'm going to show you is Windows Hello. And Windows Hello is Windows 10's uh, next generation security system. Right. But the cool thing is that the Razer Stargazer is the first desktop webcam that is built out of the box to work with Windows Hello. Okay. So I'm just going to show a demonstration of that right now. I'm going to lock my computer screen and it's recognizing me. Hello Razer PC, dismiss the lock screen to sign in, and there you go. And you, I didn't even need to uh, key in any passwords right. to log in information. It automatically detects your face, and it gets accurate mm -hmm. more, the more times you use it as well. So that's really, really incredible. And so the next cool thing I want to show you is the gesture recognition. Right. And essentially mm -hmm. what you do is you can assign macros to any of the gestures. And so I'm going to show you one right now. So basically all I need to do is raise my hand and the game launches. Oh, Yes. cool. Right out of the gate. Basically, the idea is that we want to give um, users an entire library of gestures when this camera becomes finally available on the market. Uh -huh. And the cool thing is they'll be able to use it in any way. And they can way. create their own gestures. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But this is only to, for gestures to work within games rather than... Oh, um, not necessarily. It can be desktop applications. So, so you can create one to sort of start a new document in Word or something uh, like yeah, that. Yeah, for instance, like, I'm going to do... would be very boring, but, you know. But useful for people. <laughs> there are people who might want to use it. Yeah. So, for instance, I'm going to do this. Uh huh. And it's going to detect it and open a notepad. Right, right. So Got that's it. exactly what you were just referring to just now. Neat. And the last cool thing about this camera is that um, it has 3D scanning capability, right. meaning that it can actually scan faces and objects into the right applications. Um, game developers can use this for with Unity, um, which is a really powerful game engine for developing games. Uh, th designers can create 3D printable files. But one thing that we're most excited for is bringing this technology to games. And one such game to announce that it's going to use the technology in this camera is Minecraft. Right. And so basically you'll be able to scan real life objects into Minecraft and that's going to create some really novel experiences for people. And uh, it'll be shipping in quarter two mm -hmm. of this year for $199.99. Wonderful. Thank you.